Hey, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. So I have a new product here just released a couple weeks ago as I'm filming this video. Uh, pretty excited to demo it for you guys. I have not used it in the field yet, uh, but I'm absolutely going to put it in my kit. So hopefully I get to use it soon and give you guys some feedback. But my first impressions of it, I really like this. So this is the RISE system, R-I-S-E from TAC Med Solution. It's the rigid immobilization system for extremities. It's a splint. Similar to the SAM splints, aluminum splints that you guys are probably familiar with. Uh, so we can use this to splint fractures, dislocations, things like that in the arms, legs. Also, combined with their soft T, we can use this for a pelvic binder, which is awesome. This is going to save space for me and my kit. Save space and save weight. So, excited about that. So, let's take a look at it. So there's been some questions on my Instagram page about how big it is. So you can see this would definitely fit inside of your IFAC or small pouch, or uh, definitely your backpack kit, things like that. So it's the size of my hand. So a lot smaller than your typical aluminum splints or even your pelvic binders that we see traditionally. So just to give you a little bit of size comparison, this is the SAM pelvic binder, which my unit carries. We carry them on our ambulance service. So these work, I've used them in the field, they work. But if I could carry this, like my search and rescue bag or my swap bag, you can see the different size here. So that's why I'm going to make the conversion. So I would recommend going and taking this thing out of the plastic. Just because if my hands are bloody or have gloves on, things like that, this could become a pain. So it has rubber bands here to keep it nice and secure, which is going to be helpful. So we open it up. This isn't like a cardboard. When I posted the picture on my Instagram page, some people were talking about whether or not this was cardboard. So it's not. This is a hard plastic here. It has directions here for making a straight splint using a pelvic binder. And also if we needed to make like a 90 degree turn for an elbow or an ankle and things like that. So the splint is kind of able to be folded right here. So if you're doing it on an arm or a leg, you can just fold this up. If you had a smaller extremity on a child, you could actually put some padding here, things like that. You have your buckles here. This is gonna be the one that we need to make a 90 degree turn. We can make a 90 degree turn. Maybe this is for an elbow or maybe for an ankle. We can do that. You have slots here. So if we wanna make a pelvic binder out of it, we put it around the pelvis and then we're gonna hook the soft T in here and tighten it. So there's a couple of reasons why we'd wanna splint an extremity. One, it's fractured dislocation. That's pretty obvious. But also there's a few things for pain management. If you're having to move a patient and they're having to hold their arm, things like that, it can get very painful. With a pelvis, same thing, super painful. But also for bleeding control, you can get some internal bleeding with these extremity fractures and like that. So if we can immobilize it, it's gonna help with bleeding control internally. Okay, so remember, mama has a broken arm. Okay, so let's say she has a fractured arm right here. She's not able to move it. Ow! <laughs> it's like that. So, you can take the splint if you needed to and fold it and then just use tape, uh, pressure bandage, wherever you need to and wrap it and secure it. Since we do have the ability to do the 90 degree, if we wanted to do an upper arm, then, bend your elbow for me. You're a great patient. <laughs> so then we can splint it just like this. There again, using a pressure bandage, using tape, uh, Coban, clean, wherever you want to secure it here. Just make sure because you're going to be wrapping from here to here that when you get done, you check for pulse motor sensory here. You check for a radio pulse. Can you move your fingers? Feel me touching. Perfect. All right, so now we have it as a 90 degree angle already. We can secure the ankle. She fell, fell in the living room. You pushed me. You could use some padding here. You could use a t shirt, tie it where we need to, and then wrap it and secure it. There again, checking pulse motor sensory. This operates just like your typical splint does. And because it's not cardboard, if you do get some blood on it, things like that, it's gonna wipe clean. You don't have to worry about being contaminated. All right, so to make this a pelvic binder, we're gonna use a soft tea tourniquet and the new rise splint. So the easiest way to get up under them is going to small the back. And then you can move it into position. All right, so we've got the splint in place. We're gonna run our tourniquet through here. Secure 
secure it back, tighten it up, alright, so now we have the tourniquet in place, we can tighten it into position, and we have a pelvic binder. I'm going to put a link down below if you're interested in purchasing this kit from me, medicalgearoutfitters.com. I would appreciate that. You're supporting small business. You're supporting the YouTube channel. So I appreciate you buying it from me. Thank you guys for watching. You never know when you'll be the first responder. Remember, you need the right gear and the right training.